So, where do I start? Well, the gunman came in at 9.05. Let's start at 9.04. I just unlocked the door. I was flipping the open sign when this guy pushed right past me. Can you describe him? A white guy, large. He must have been six foot. Mm. What was he wearing? A green hooded sweatshirt and a mask. He made me lock the door and pull the shade. He had his gun pointed at Mr. Crawley the whole time, and he made us empty all the drawers. I'll never forget his voice. He had an accent. Definitely Russian, very thick, just off the boat. He had a big bag. We were filling it. I saw Jasmine reach for the silent alarm. He must have seen her. It all happened so fast. Then what'd you do? He made us all lie down on the floor. Even Jasmine. She was still bleeding and crying. He had a drill, and he was breaking open the deposit boxes. It seemed like forever. I thought I was going to give birth right there. He told us not to move for five minutes, and then he left out the back. But we were too worried about Jasmine. As soon as he was gone, Mr. Crowley pulled the alarm. OK. Thank you very much. Is that it? Yep. Unless you can think of something else. If we think of anything, we'll call you. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Good for you. Got names picked out. We haven't decided yet. What's your name? Leland. We haven't decided yet. Thank, uh, thank you very much. Captain, what are you doing here? Well, the robbery squad was shorthanded, so Randy and I took the call. No dead bodies. It's nice. Sir, I'm sorry. The bank isn't open. Well, I heard about the robbery. Is the manager here and Mr. Mr. Crawley? Mr. Crawley is busy right now. If you come back tomorrow... Mr. Crawley! Peter. Yes, Mr. Monk. I heard about the robbery. It must have been terrible for you. It was terrible. Awful. Did you hear about Jasmine Adlani? He shot her in the arm. I was just going to be right a next... long story, Peter. Cause... Oh, no. I guess I'm done. I'm kind of worried about my safe deposit box. Box number 100, number 100. We haven't done a full inventory yet. Ouch. Why don't we take a look? Oh, no. Trudy's bracelet. It was her grandmother's. She wore it all the time. Do you have insurance? No, I didn't need insurance. I put it in the bank. God is my witness. I'm getting it back. Maybe they need a security guard. You know, after today, I bet they do. Looks like you're going to get to wear a badge again. Good morning. Good morning. Gloria, would you call downtown and check the rates on this? Mr. Monk. Ma'am. How are you doing? Can't complain. I want to thank you again for helping us out. It's just for a day or two. Well, it means a lot to us. But after what happened yesterday, I, I feel a lot safer with you here. You do. Of course I do. Who wouldn't? That's a good question. One of you doesn't want me here. Which one? Who is the inside man? Next in line? Her. The pregnant woman. It's always the ones you least suspect. Gloria Morales. Good guess, but wrong. No, she's not strong enough. The inside man had to move this FICA street to block that security camera. What about Madge? Same problem. She couldn't move the tree. She's got a bad back. By him, he looks pretty strong. That's Leon Harrison. He could probably move the tree, but he's too short. Too short, yeah. The inside man had to trip the breaker to disengage the alarm. It goes to the back door. The junction box is behind this cabinet, which is bolted to the floor. I tried, but I, I, I just can't reach it. So the inside man has to be taller than me. 
What about her? She's pretty tall. Tiffany Preston. It's her, isn't it? God, kids today. You know, I blame the parents, no, really. No, no, Natalie, no, it's not her. She is tall enough. But the inside man also had to unlock the back gate. Tiffany just started working here, so she doesn't have that key. Yeah, but that's everybody. There's no one left. Not quite. Mr. M? Anybody miss me? <laughs> I didn't think so. You remember Peter Curley, the branch manager? Three and a half hours, that is a long lunch break. Natalie, you see that blue ticket? That's from a parking garage. Why would he use a parking garage? He has a private space right out front. Oh my God, the back of his neck. It's sunburned. So? He just bought a car, a convertible. A car he didn't want anybody else to see. He's strong enough. He's tall enough. But he has a key to the gate. He's the guy. You're the guy? Look at you. Mr. Bush. No. That's, that's enough. Oh. I don't understand. Half a box full. It's an unusual phrase. Then I remembered there are six extra large deposit boxes in that vault. But during the robbery, the Russian only opened five. Well, he ran out of time. He was in a hurry. But it wasn't the last one. The one he skipped was in the middle. Box 503. The money never left the bank. It's brilliant when you think about it. It's the last place anybody would look. Come on, box 503. 503. Five, 503. Five, oh, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, here it is. 503. Ah. J.A. Guar. Jaguar. Yeah, very cute. <laughs> so this is definitely the guy. Good work. We'll come back tomorrow with a court order. Oh. Why don't we just look right now? Come on, we're already here. Crawley's dead. He, he's not going to mind. I don't know. Please, just a look. Just to see if it's in there. Please. It'll just take a minute. Well, I'll go get the master key. You can wait in here. Thanks, Madge. So what is it? Six. Hmm? Looks like someone got the short end of the straw. My God. We gotta get out of here. Crawley, Jasmine, Harrison, Tiffany, Gloria, the whole staff. They planned it together. Here's what happened. It was like they were putting on a play. They must have rehearsed it for weeks. One of them had to play the Russian. It was probably mad. She was about the right height. I didn't see her on the surveillance tape. So what did the toothpicks mean? One of them had to get shot to make it look good. So they were drawing straws. I don't get it. Why did they kill the manager? Well, they probably had an agreement not to spend any of the money, but Crawley couldn't resist. Of course. We'll never know for sure. Because we're gonna die soon. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey! <laughs>